information, we have a side looking to make it into the exclusive knockout stage of the competition. A victory does it, but anything less than that could lead to all sorts of complications. Everybody is ready to go once we have the formalities out of the way. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues. Has a hit! A real chance and a real let-off. Berghaus. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Battles to win it back. Darone. He spotted the run and played him through. It goes for goal! It's a good ball kindly. It's in! What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Oh, that's great awareness. Full marks to him as he was just that bit quicker than everyone else on the follow-up. The Netherlands take the early advantage. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. And he's going long. Fine Aldum. And it's Van Arnholt. Fires it in low. Van der Beek! He's missed, but not by that far. Van Arnholt goes for it. They have done it again! Well, he was never going to miss from there. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. The Netherlands have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. He's in, surely! really drilled it. And through to the goalkeeper. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. And it's Van Arnholt. Lovely feet. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And Dyke gets it back. The Netherlands seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that, no? Oh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Berghaus. Out to the right. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Berghaus goes short. The Netherlands awarded another corner. Alaba <laughs> displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. 
you have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Good challenge. He just stood firm. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And that's sprayed out wide. Oh, surely! And oh! Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something. And they've been caught out here. The room. And it's played forward. Berghaus. Berghaus delivers. Hoists it forward. Oh, they can break here. Now it's on Nautovic. Oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Van Dijk. A win here so important to their ambitions. Wijnaldum, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Berghaus. Daron. Here's the cross. Down Bartlinger. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, chins have dropped, heads are down, and half-time couldn't have come at a better time. To the last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. Well, this half might require them to produce a plan A, B and C. Leveling the score is easier said than done, but that will be the target. Get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Plays it out to the flank. Berghaus. Now the cross. Has a hit! Oh, good delivery. Almost the perfect outcome. Austria can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Berghaus. Van der Beek. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. He's left his man. That's the throw. That intervention was very necessary. Good clearance and very necessary. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Tries to pick out a teammate. Timely intervention. Arnautovic has a pop! Quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. This is threatening to become a really good game. A scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Just brushed off the ball there. And it's Baumgartlinger. Caught offside that time. Austria showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim?
Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Van Dijk. Well, it's obvious why they're still trailing. They're not enjoying enough possession. De Roon. De Roon goes looking. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? It's gone out for a throw in. It's got through. Up for the header! <laughs> Forward it goes. Van der Beek. Over to the left. Vijnaldum. to get it forward quickly. Goes for the cross. Austria are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Berghaus. Van der Beek. Van der Beek is on to it and can take it up. Needed a better pass there. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Now it's on Nautovic. And the defence can get it clear. Down Linger has got himself a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. <laughs> Austria are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. to the last five minutes. Patrick van Arnholt pushes to get on the end of it. De Ligt positions himself well and cuts it out. Promes. Baumgart linger. Austria desperately need a goal and this could well be their last chance. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Real chance! Straight at the keeper. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. So that's it. It is all over. Austria lose by the odd goal. It could have gone either way, but that is no consolation. Your reflections then, Jim. Austria never quite got to grips with this game, Peter. Well, of course, victory in the opening fixture was absolutely ideal, and their path to the next round already looks navigable. By no means is there any guarantee of progress, but they have given themselves the best possible chance to go through. Past records state that a win on the opening day gives you an 85% chance or thereabouts of doing just that, so they have every reason for optimism. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. Ukraine have taken three points from three so far. Six from six should do it. Good atmosphere. Well, Peter, the opener couldn't have gone much better result-wise, and that momentum and belief has to be taken into this. And along with the verve and vigour they showed first time round. He's gone for it! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes work ultra sharp. Elmas. Oh, 
Tries to get it forward quickly. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Stepanenko. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of a game. Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Alioski tries a pass forward. Ukraine yet to have a shot on target. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. Battles to win it back. Zinchenko. It's come loose. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Ball's loose. Who's getting... That's a pop! Oh, that is rather wayward. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. to locate someone up front. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. That's been drilled forward. Well positioned to make that interception. And the counter is on. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Elmas has been caught there, it's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Lovely bit of skill there. Ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And it's played forward. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Elmas. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Goes for goal! Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is... is... 
The referee brings the first half to a close. Both both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Ukraine have a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Hoists it forward, done very well to intervene. Away from immediate danger. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Elmas gets into a good position. Can he deliver? And that's been one straight back. Turns and the finish! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. has got good distance on that. <laughs> A real chance if he can get through. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Pandev really used his body to clever effect in dropping the shoulder to carry on. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Second period, it is still anyone's game. And out to safety. Ukraine have it back and they can go again. Aimed in towards the centre. Alioski tries to clear. Just brushed off the ball there. Pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Alioski goes looking. And it's Yarmolenko. It's a promising ball. Fence has got rid of that. Ukraine showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Elmas with the cross. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Forward it goes. Whistle's gone, that's a foul.
A spectacular effort. Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort. I mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And here's Yarmolenko. Can't get the better of his opposite number. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Off target and by quite a way. Elmas gets it back. He's got options out wide. 90 minutes gone and nothing to show. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Elmas, they're making life real. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled.